Hello and welcome to this video on collaborating with My Portfolio. There's a lot of different ways you might use My Portfolio to enable collaboration. Mostly you're probably going to want to use My Portfolio groups, but this has a lot of different potential ways it might be utilised. My Portfolio groups have a number of different roles, including administrators and students or participants. These different roles will have different abilities within the group, including the ability to edit the homepage and also to adjust member content and settings for the group. Most of the time, you're probably going to be okay with having a smaller number of administrators and then a number of students or participants within the group. But obviously, if you're not sure what the best distribution of roles is going to be, you can always contact the digital education team and we'll be happy to advise you. Please note that any contact details or other links mentioned within this video will be able to be found in the description below this video on YouTube. So, what are some of the different tools within My Portfolio that you might use for collaboration? Well, within My Portfolio groups, there are forums which can be useful for discussion and also for keeping track of different activities. Um, there's also a shared files area which can be really useful not only for developing a repository, but for also sharing documents between one another. You also have the ability to both create and share pages from and to a My Portfolio group. This means that you can go in and collaborate on a single page within My Portfolio, and you can have some reporting turned on so you can see um, a little bit of detail about when people have made edits, although you may also want to use the forum so that people can comment when they're making changes and discuss that, so you have a fuller, more in-depth record there. You can also create pages privately within your own portfolio and then share them with the group, either as simply viewable or you can make the page copyable so it can be copied to the group pages where other group members will be able to edit it. Obviously, what you choose to do with this is up to you and depends on what function you might want to use. There are a number of ways that groups are already being used to facilitate collaboration, both for assessed group work, where people are working within groups and either creating the pages within the My Portfolio group or outside of the My Portfolio group and then sharing them, making them copyable so they become part of the group. Also, it's being used as a repository so people can go in and submit images um, and then those images can then be put on a gallery um, as part of a My Portfolio page which can then be shared um, both within the cohort and also externally. My Portfolio is quite good in the granularity that it will allow within sharing of pages so you can choose to keep stuff internal to specific groups of people or just internal within UCL or you can make stuff available either freely on the web by making it completely public or by generating secret URLs to pages and collections which can be shared with specific external participants. So this may be other institutions that you're collaborating with, external organisations or companies that you're collaborating with. It's really up to you. Hopefully this video has given you an idea of some of the things that are possible with My Portfolio Groups. If you would like to find out more, please do check out the My Portfolio Resource Centre on the UCL Wiki or contact the Digital Education team where we'll be happy to help you. Thank you for watching. We hope to collaborate with you soon.